We're in darkness. We're well, our monitors. You know what? I tell you, there's a lot of power outages everywhere. <laughs> and, Ours is isolated. And we're suffering right from it just like you guys. The tree limbs are down, and that's why you can't see anything behind us. We're really sorry. Yeah. We're really a matter sorry. of fact, you know, our uh, producer, Catherine Shepard, doesn't have her power on yet either. How many of you still don't have power from those storms that we saw on Friday? Yeah, poor Catherine. I heard her telling somebody else in the newsroom, she's been having to sleep on the couch. It's been too hot in other parts of her house. Well, I uh, was out for like a, I don't know, probably a day and a half. Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, and I had, I, I got a photo. Can we show the photo? This is uh, a, a lightning strike that hit. That's, that's my tree. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, my gosh. And boom. Now, full disclosure, I was sitting on the toilet when this happened. Okay. And it nearly, look at that. That's scorch marks from lightning. Oh, my gosh, it is. It lifted me off the seat. It did. <laughs> it scared me to death. It fell and it hit my poor neighbor, Jeff and Edie's house. And I gotta fix their gutter, I guess. I don't know how that works. Do I fix it or do the homeowner? You thing? call that guy from the American Gutter Company or whatever it is. Yeah. Well, whatever well, yeah. the no, I know I'm not gonna get on a ladder. They wouldn't want oh. me doing that anyway. But no. I but I know a lot of folks have had this issue. I mean, trees were blowing around. It was crazy the storm we had. Friday night driving home from work, it literally looked like a war zone. Mm -hmm. The amount of trees and limbs everywhere across town, all the lights out. Yeah, I mean this is yeah, one in a million of these trees that we yeah. saw, but it landed on your neighbor's house. It, did. it missed their brand new heating and air unit, so nice. I'm thankful for yeah. that. It would have been putting a pretty big bill. Been, oh, the production guys are here to save the day to fix oh, our monitors. Yeah, guys from, shouldn't you guys have hard hats or something? Yeah, okay. Do you guys no, even work not. here? No, They're I not going to show them. Are we, okay, anyway. All right. Well, let's move on to today's hot topics as our tech guys get to work back here. Hot. <laughs> All right, a Cubs fan is getting a lot of heat on Twitter. The fan was caught on video taking a ball that a player had thrown to a child. Here it is. There's the video. Okay, it happened on Sunday during the Cubs game against the Cardinals. First base coach Will Venable tossed a ball to a young boy that you saw right there. Well, yeah. the kid wasn't able to get it. It rolled up under the seat. That's when the guy behind him, you see it here, grabbed it and handed it to his wife. Well, people have been lighting up this guy online saying, why would you do that? Take the ball from a kid. But some people on social media are coming to this guy's defense. Correct. Folks, I guess, that were at the game. According to people sitting nearby, the man had given a game ball to the child earlier. earlier. Right. So, hey, they both got one. What's his reaction right here? Look, his, he goes, see, there you go. I got you one. Yes. Because I think, you know, his wife may have given him a hard time about, well, you gave it to the kid there who obviously has a couple of baseballs. Yes. So the Cubs, to make this even better for the kid, for folks who were upset, they gave him another ball as well, a signed one, and said yeah. a signed ball should take care of it. Yeah, right. so you never know what's really going on before you start shaming a complete stranger. He had actually given the child a ball ahead yeah, of time. Yeah, but nothing will ever prevent the outrage mob from being outraged. Oh, I know. I just want to be mad about everything. I mean, I was a little myth too, when I watched it, but I didn't understand the context. Now, I never wrote to anybody. I just... I applaud you for that. You I, know what I do? I take all the anger and I internalize it so that way I can keep my cardiologist employed. Yes, exactly right. Exactly mm -hmm. right. God by the bless. way, we want to thank KU for coming by and oh uh, turning gosh. the power on the for us. The service that they provide. <laughs> Goodness, for real though, let's give it up for KU, the work they've been doing for days and days. Those guys around the clock, they don't stop. They don't stop. They don't stop. It if is you're going to be a, you know, a line, which I think most of those guys make pretty good money. My brother is a lineman there down in go. Tennessee. And he, yes, I mean, he has a tough job. I know when there's a storm, my family, so they're like, well, we know we're not going to see Jackson for several days because. I didn't know he did that. Yeah. He does. He does. I'm very, very proud of him. What He's kind awesome of certification guy. does a fellow need to be able to do that? You interested? Maybe. I'll get you the information. If you're, you're not going to go fix your neighbor's gutter, yet you want to be a lineman. Yeah. I understand. You know what? If, if I've ever done anything, I think you know I'm qualified to deal with electricity. Oh, gosh. I'm the guy you want handling hot wires. I wouldn't trust you with my easy bake oven, mm. okay? <laughs> but you're gonna, you're, I believe in you. I'll yeah. get you the number. Okay, well, so Chick-fil-A, love yeah, them. They've announced that they're going to be selling mealtime kits at 150 restaurants in the Atlanta area. That starts late August and runs through mid-November. Like Blue Apron and Home Chef, the kits will include fresh pre-measured ingredients 
They can be purchased at Chick-fil-A drive throughs counters, or using the mobile app. There are five varieties of these kits. The chicken parmesan, chicken enchilada, Dijon chicken, pan-roasted chicken, and then the chicken flatbread oh, is designed yeah. so guests don't have to order ahead or subscribe to a service. And there's a possibility of selling them to a wider range of cities in the future. Now, let me see if I understood what I just said. Okay. I can make Chick-fil-A at home? No, you make ver different dishes I guess using wait, 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 chicken. Is it frozen and then I heat it up and I, no, I pre purchase? No, 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 no. What no, no. did I just read? Like Blue Apron. You know how they send you yeah, the meal kits aren't those, aren't and then you cook it in your home? Yeah, but aren't they frozen or something? The they Blue come apron? in a refrigerated box, but they come with the ingredients separate and you actually have to cook the meal. You don't just microwave it. That's what I said. So I got to cook this. Right. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, I'll just a lot go to the drive through. Want to do it? It's a billion dollar business. And let me tell you something. It's much more polite at Chick Fil A than mm -hmm. doing it at my house. My pleasure. That's yeah. Fair. I'm never going to hear my pleasure at my house. That's right. It's my. Pl I love that. I love Chick Fil A. I, do I love their uh, I don't service. Know, honest to I God, it. I don't know how they do it. How do you take a bunch of millennials and turn them into decent people? They do it. They I do. don't know how they do it. But Chick Fil A is amazing. One of my. Um, parents friends their daughter got a job at a chick-fil-a in the nashville area not long ago and it was neat to see how the process worked she had to go through like multiple interviews had yeah. to get reference she was 16 years old they're like disney employees. they really treat like they want the highest quality employees and it shows when you go in there you can feel the difference and i they almost do. feel like they're they're being truthful when they say it's my pleasure i'm like you yeah. are enjoying this i, I kind of feel they're being sarcastic i but don't I still appreciate it. I love it. I love Chick-fil-A. Yeah. So I would try out these meal kits. I think it's cool. No. If you feel like acting like you're actually cooking and not just picking up I'm not going to do it myself. Okay. That's what I'm paying them for. Okay. <laughs> well, the Department of Motor Vehicles in Cleveland, Ohio, is using a picture of LeBron James to keep people from smiling in their photographs. <laughs> As you know, LeBron recently <laughs> left the Cleveland Cavaliers again to yeah. sign with the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, the DMV is taking advantage, featuring a photo of the king underneath the camera in a Lakers jersey at its licensing desk. Someone snapped a picture of the setup, which has now gone viral. The Cleveland DMV uses the photo of him to make sure customers don't smile in their license pictures, as we said. So yeah. I think this is hilarious. But yeah, Cleveland, they take it seriously. They burned his jersey the first time. Now, now this. I love Two it. things here. One, we should probably put Christian Leitner under our DMV we you know, photo taking so that would work. But why is it like with the DMV or passport folks, mm -hmm. why do they not want you to smile? Although I think you can smile on your passport photo now. Yeah, I just got one recently, as you guys know. Yeah. Is the cop not going to recognize me if I'm smiling because I'm not going to smile at him? I don't know. I don't why? know. Why? Facial recognition. Facial recognition. What? You my phone know. can recognize my face if I'm smiling. Yeah, that's half true. Half the time. What do you mean half the time? All the time. All the time. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm going to try it. That's okay. Wait a minute. Look at it. Well, yep. Nope. There it is. <laughs> no, it worked. That was the scariest <laughs> smile I've ever seen. <laughs> that's how you smile, right? <laughs> I've stolen all your belongings. That's what it was. Uh, Bristol Palin is joining the cast of Teen Mom OG. Oh, yeah. Her mom, former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin, is 100% on board with her daughter's decision. I believe she's a great messenger of perseverance. Bristol was pregnant with her first child at 17, now has three kids. She has two kids with Kentucky native and Medal of Honor recipient Dakota Meyer. Palin's taken the place of former cast member Farah Abram. Abraham. Oh, is that what it is? From the Bible. Yes. Mm. Um... Farrah Abraham had many sons. <laughs> many sons had Farrah oh, Abraham. If you were familiar with her, yeah. her life choices, you would. That what song. is this show? I don't know what it is. Teen Mom OG. It's on MTV, and it was basically just. It was originally called Teen Mom, and it just followed like 16, 17 year old girls who were pregnant. Didn't Farrah Abraham, some kind of porn star? Yeah, she yeah, turned her yeah. MTV money into a porn career. But she's recently had a run-in with the law, and I think I read the other day oh. she, she was like in an assault issue with a police officer, something oh. like that, allegedly. And but they're saying she's facing up to a year and a half in prison. So I follow Bristol Palin around all day and see what it's like. I think the to show. To be Bristol Palin? No. When when the show originally launched, Do it you was watch just this? showing. I have yes. Oh God. Well, because there was a girl from Chattanooga on there, and you know me, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I had to watch it. Um, but 
it just showed, I think, it, I think the purpose of the show is to show young girls and, and young boys as well, you know, um, it takes two to make it happen. Uh -huh. um, how, what the struggle is like for kids. If you have, if you have a teen pregnancy, what it was going to be like. So, and yeah. now it'll be interesting, I think, to see her take. She's on the other side of it. I don't know. Okay. But you won't be tuning in and that's okay. I'd rather watch Hard Knocks. You're still going to give parenting advice. That's exactly <laughs> Either way. right. Either way. Well, that makes no sense as to why I shouldn't be able to. Yeah. Yeah. Weren't we supposed to have a parent? Are we having a parenting We're working expert? on that. That's going to uh, be later. Later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, probably had a child issue. Couldn't oh, make it. Oh, couldn't make it. We're going to yeah. have a parenting expert soon to dispel all week. the myths. I think it's next week. Maybe. Okay. That Lee has told us. Uh, an 11 year old Florida boy just earned his associate's degree. He could do simple math at one. <laughs> one and a half, see, I can't do it. One and a half years old. <laughs> at four, he learned algebra, which I never did. At five, an Ohio State University psychologist declared him a genius. His dream is to be an astrophysicist and prove to the world God does exist through science. He will attend the University of South Florida. Way to go, buddy. That is cool. Five. five. Four years old, he learned algebra? Okay. Hmm. Goodness gracious. Uh -huh. Wowzers. It'll be interesting to see where he goes. He is very, very intelligent, and he is going to go far, that's for sure. Okay, there's a jailbird on the loose in San Francisco. A 33-foot inflatable Trump chicken sailed past the infamous <laughs> Alcatraz prison in the San Francisco he's in, a, he's, he's in a prison outfit. Yes, yes. A massive bird, you see it there, wore the pr a Prisoner 45 striped shirt. The chicken made its debut in April of 2017 at a tax march in San Francisco. Since then, it's popped up around the country in several different sizes and even made an appearance outside the White House back in February. People were encouraged, if they saw this, to yell anything they wanted at the president chicken to express their First Amendment right. Okay. All right. And a Michigan man has created an app that can identify dog breeds in a snap of a photo. Huh. He got the idea from his young daughter. It's called Dogzam. It's a play off the popular music shap, uh, app, Shazam. It uses the dog's facial features and fur to help determine the breed. The app is free, by the way. Interesting. We should use that with our pet of the day. We that should. Way we'll know. Lexi, right don't tell us. Yeah. Let us guess. <laughs> All right, those are our hot topics today. All right.